Hi, I am TJ from MeasuringFlower.com and I've had several questions asking how I organize my coupons so I decided I would make this video to show you. And first of all I want to show you my the sleeves that I use. The first kind of sleeve that I use, which I, I don't use very many of them but I do use some, is this three pocket sleeve and it has just longer sleeves and I bought these ones online and you can also find them in some hobby stores. And you can usually find them like over by the coin collecting items because, or if you're looking for them online, they'll be, they'll say something like money protectors because people will put their money in them to protect like $2 bills and stuff. So I have some of these and then I also have um, these which are eight pocket uh, sleeves, which obviously they have eight and these ones are baseball card protector sleeves, but I prefer to use the 8 pocket as opposed to the 9 pocket because of the wider top. It makes it easier to insert and pull out the coupons and they also hold slightly larger coupons than the 9 pocket ones. Okay, and then here is my actual binder. It is just a plain three ring binder. Um, I'm in the process of making a coupon clutch. I have the material and all the items I need for that. I just need to get around to actually sewing it. And I will post about that once I get that done. So for now, it's just a plain three ring binder. And I carry this with me to every store that I go to, even if we're not intending to go shopping somewhere. I always bring it with me because hundreds of times I've been stuck somewhere. We decide, oh, let's just stop real quick and get this and this at Walmart or something and we go in I see a sale and I'm like oh, I knew I should have brought it I just know I should have brought it and it's always when I don't have my coupons with me I see the really good deals you know and I'm like I knew I had a coupon for it but it's at home so it doesn't do me any good so I started where I carry it with me everywhere okay so here's the inside I have a pocket pouch that I keep I have a calculator because I'm horrible at math so I need to carry a calculator with me figure out unit prices and stuff Inside, I'll keep a marker so that I can mark expiration dates that are hard to see on some coupons. I'll keep a pen, a pencil, and then there's a second little pocket in here that I put my receipts in once I'm done shopping. Okay, in the next part, I have a three pocket sheet, and I'll keep rebates for several stores, various stores in it, so that it's, I like to have it very front because then I can see, oh yeah, I have that rebate that needs to be used up by such and such a time. Therefore, it's there and I remember to use it. Okay, and the second part, oh, and before I go on, I just want to let you know, um, my coupon binder is organized based on the ideas of several different people, like probably five or six people's ideas have gone into my binder and it's just what works best for me. Your binder will probably be completely different because you're a different person and you just gotta work with it until you find something that works with you, that's easier for you to use. And this is just how mine is done. So the first part, I have five pocket dividers, and there's there's one for Walgreens, one for King Supers, one for Safeway, one for Walmart, and then one for other stores. And what I keep in the front pocket is I'll keep the ad from that particular store, and I'll keep anything else I think is helpful. Like for Walgreens, I keep the uh, coupon booklet in there. Okay, and then if you turn it, I have in the second pocket, I have the coupon policy that I printed off of their website so that if I have a dispute with the cashier and they say, you can't do this with the coupon, I can show them their own coupon policy and say, but I can. So, and then I have another three pocket protector and what I'll do is I'll keep this one empty and then this one I'll keep coupons I intend to use when I go to the store, like if I'm planning at home I'll put, okay I think I'm going to use this one, so I'll put that one in there. And then this one I'll keep like rain checks and like for the Walgreens section I'll keep register rewards, items like that for the, the specific store. And then what I'll do when I'm in the store is, okay I found something that's on sale, so I go get a coupon and I'll put it in here and then if what coupons I have from here I'll move up here and that I'm going to use and then that way when I get to the cash register I'm like okay I need this one I need this one I have them all in that one pocket and I just whoop, here you go so I don't have to worry about that once I get up to the register okay and then I do the same thing for every store that I go to and then other stores just contains 
like I'll, I'll put Sprouts ads. I like to go to Sprouts a lot. Um, Target ads, whatever. And then I keep their coupon policies. And then the same thing with this. Okay, and then I get into the actual categories. And this is where I'll use the eight pocket protectors. I have, in my binder, I have 32 categories. And I like to use the plastic dividers because the paper ones are cheaper but the plastic ones are much easier to use, last longer, and they look nicer. So I like to use the plastic ones. Um, so I have 32 categories and I'll do like subcategories. So for example, I have the candy and snacks category. I'll put the first page will be just candy. The second page, I have more candy. The third page is just like snacks, like I'll put, and sometimes I'll even divide it further. Depends on what time I have and if I feel like it. Um, like I'll have a chips page, popcorn page, whatever. Okay, and then I always I think it's very important to have other categories. For example, I have an other food category which is, because there's always, you're going to find something that doesn't belong in any category you have, no matter if you have 50 categories, somehow you're going to find, oh, this doesn't belong to any of them. So I have an other food category, and then in here I also have an other non-food category. And if you would like to know all the categories I have to get ideas, then you can go to my post at measuringflower.com, and I have a list of the categories that I use. So, and you can just search for coupon binder. Okay, and then also in here I will keep restaurant coupons. I keep a category for restaurant coupons. My husband and I very rarely eat out, but I always keep the coupons just in case we do, like the coupons for our favorite restaurants, just in case we do decide to eat out, because this way at least we're saving something when we eat out. So we're not spending a huge amount of money. Okay, and then I also have a category for auto. I'll keep coupons for like getting your oil changed or getting your wheels rotated or whatever. And um, as you say, I don't have any right now, but I always keep those as I find them because we tend to save money on the car. Okay, and then here I have a category where it's just the, the sheets, the pages, the protectors, um, and the extra ones. And that's about it. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit my website, measuringflower.com. Have a great day. Bye.